it's time for the bell. How many options will you sell? Fire up your platform, get ready to enter. But first, let's get the mindset centered. Hey, hey, let's go. Uh, we're not here to gamble, we're here to trade. We follow the plan, that's how we get paid. Testing, trading, have success. Find what works for you and forget the rest. Stats and probabilities is what we're about. Time to dismiss greed and doubt. Focus on the process, not the money. And the profits will flow like honey. Power our lives, let's start the show. Come on, trade hackers, get ready to go. Zero day options, time to make bank. Get locked and loaded, then be ready to plank. Hey! Hey everyone, welcome to Power Hour Live, Friday, October 27th. Hope everyone's having a good day. S&P down again today, down 26. NASDAQ is green. Russell down 22, Dow down 400. VIX up 5%, hanging around 2170. Just off the lows, we're about four or five points above the low of day. Started to bounce, coming back down. Only zero DTE I did today was Rick. I wasn't even at my computer when it hit, so I didn't even get to send out the Rick meme. But still, I'm still holding one contract. So I'm going to let that one ride for a little while anyway. Or power hour looks like we're going to be 10 or 15 wide. I need to go ahead and buy some longs. I had a meeting over lunch, so I didn't do a quiet lunch. Anybody else do quiet lunches? I assume those would not have done so hot. Yes, it looks like we'll be 15, maybe 10 wide, depending on where this, where this settles out here in the next couple minutes. Today, I need to do a 4.7 and a 6.7, and then towards the end of the day, I'll do a 3.5 DTE for my double calendars. So as of right now, it looks like the 20s and 05s. Give it another minute. Maybe the 15s, 05s. Back to the 20s. Maybe the 2010s. It's kind of in between here. I have to make a decision in about 10 seconds. Twenties, oh fives, fifteen wide. Trying to get filled at six eighty. Filled at six eighty. Fifteen wide, twenties, and oh fives.
Gold and silver green on the day. Notes and bonds mixed. 10-year yield pretty flat. Oil up 2%. Natty gas slightly red. Grains mixed. Euro and the pound flat. Bitcoin down 1%. SPX creeping towards lows of day. And just tick the new low of day. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what time my Rick hit. I wasn't even at my computer. Let's see. Closed at 1221 Central. Still holding one runner. Let's see, what does Wuga's stats say about 15 wide? Actually, I got Morrow's cheat sheet. 63.5% win rate on 22 trades. So wing with Wugas, uh, 38 occurrences, and a 58% win rate. Turn on margin 2.26. Pushing new lows. Got our uh, November 3 time fly that we adjusted. It's up some, not quite to profit target. So I'm going to continue holding that. I looked at, uh, yeah, I still want, I still want to see VXX get up closer to 28 handle or so before I add any more VXX verticals. Low of 4104.17. My stop's at 1080. Spread's currently trading at 750.
4106. Let's just keep that as low of the day. I don't think we need a new low of day, do we? Yeah, Chris, if you already got stopped out of your tranche one, I don't know, man. That's to me, that's not a big enough move to get stopped out on. Gotta give it a little room to breathe. Nasty little sell-off this week, my friends. Last two weeks. Just 10 days ago, we were almost at 4,400. Now we're at 4,100. Just over a month ago, VIX was in the 12 handle, if you can believe it. My, how things change quickly. My account was hitting new all-time highs in equity when I went into lunch today. When I came out, and the S&P was down 20-something. So it didn't, certainly didn't hold, didn't hold my new equity all-time highs. Got a lot of negative Vega. Ten minutes till tranche two. Yeah, I'm gonna start looking at my four cell the four seven first.
little bounce here, SPX. All right, when I went ahead and get got filled in my four seven a little bit early because I got tranche two coming up as well. Just posted my four seven. What percent would you have in separate Roth accounts to trade options without conflicting strikes? If 300 total, would you have 3, 2100, 100? Sorry, brother, I have no idea what you're trying to ask there. Were you asking me or, or were you responding to someone else? Yeah, I'm, you're going to have to clarify. I can't, I'm not sure what you're saying. The amount that you have in an account has nothing to do with conflicting strikes. Right. Yeah, I have multiple accounts. So I I trade certain strategies in different accounts because I'm using similar expiration cycles. So just to avoid overlap makes it easier. But yeah, just, I mean, it depends on your position size, really. If you're trading in a Roth, yeah, you want to, you'd want to do just like defined risk strategies in a Roth, like do calendars, butterflies, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, your 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 percentage or the position size you do, that's that's just gonna be part, that's just gonna be up to you. How much how much do you want to allocate to the strategies strategies you're trading in in each account? Yeah, if you want to split it, hundred k, hundred k, hundred k. Yeah, again, that's that's a that's a personal decision. That's that's not something I can answer for you. Like my uh, my trade hawk trader account, it's a it's a smaller account, just because I I'm still. Working with it as I become, you know, more and more comfortable with it, I'll start loading more money in it. But so right now in that one, I'm just trading my my back test driven calendars, basically. Uh, is margin the biggest consideration? Not sure what you mean. Like I have my portfolio margin account with Toss. Uh, Tradier does. Tradier does not offer portfolio margin yet. They are uh, supposed to be coming out with it at the end of the year. Tasty has portfolio margin, but if you're trading a Roth IRA. That's you're you're trading an IRA. You're just stuck with the the way buying power works in an IRA. You can't you can't do anything about that. I had a little bounce, came back down a bit. Tranche two coming up in a few minutes.
buy some longs for tranche two. Yeah, I mean, part of the thing, um, opt for dollar. Depends on how many strategies you trade. You know, I, I have no idea what you're trading. So, you know, if you traded a bunch of different strategies like I do, yeah, I think having multiple accounts makes sense. For some people, just having one account makes is just fine. So those are really just kind of personal preferences of what you're what you're trying to do. Looks like we may get 15 wide again. We're getting a little bounce. Launch one back to center. And we may be on the same strikes if we hold here. I'm looking at the 20s and the 05s. All right, 20s and 05s, 15 wide for tranche two. Trying to get filled at 565. Why does it say wait? Oh, there's not working. Wow, that dropped. How about 540? Filled at 540. Same strikes, 20s and 05s. Which one to one I got filled at? 680. So 410 is my stop reduction for tranche one. Tranche two, I got filled at 540. I'm looking at 325 to reduce my stop on tranche two. All right, I got to do a six, seven.
get this filled and I'll put it in the calendar channel. Build it 805. All right, so we got my four seven and my six seven in. Later, I'll do a three five. SPX catching a little bounce still. Uh, Ryan P, when you pick the new stop, do you follow the formula for T1? It's just, I would reduce it to $3 over the current price. Yeah, so my original entry in tranche one times 60%. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You got it right. Yeah, so I just I just make a note. I just calculate 60% of my original entry and then I just have that literally written down on a little note right here in front of me. So then I watch the price and once price gets down to that, I I'll add 3 3 bucks to that and reduce my stop to that level. I need to grab myself a little water. All right, rehydrated. Hey, Wally World. So when I when I use the template, it sets up my stop order and a limit order at 90%. So obviously if my stop gets hit, it's taken out. My limit order I use at the end of the day. I so then I can just cancel replace that, adjust it to uh 
to get filled at the end of the day if I don't plan on taking it to expiration. So yeah. So the answer to your question is yeah, I use I use my order templates to to exit. Few minutes till tranche three. So Wally World, I'm not sure if you've seen the uh, in the DTE Zero DTE course channel. There is a video and some shared links of the uh, orders, how to set up your order templates. So th those are just kind of examples, and then you can tweak them to fit your size and all that good stuff. Yeah, they're definitely not not there to just be copied and ready to go. You gotta each order template has its own position size. So you gotta adjust the size and you know, any other parameters that you want, and then then you can save them as your own. All right, almost time for tranche three. It looks like the 15s and the OOs. Another 15 wide. 15 wide for every tranche today. Surely we can get some profit out of 15 wide, right? So it might be the 15s, 15s, 05s. Fifteens and fifteens and oh fives. I'm going ten wide. Tranche three, ten wide. Five ten. Build it five ten. Five ten ten wide. Tranche one, I'm looking for 410. It's currently trading at, oh boy, nobody told me. I gotta reduce my stop on tranche one, kids. All right, stop reduced on tranche one. <laughs> Sorry, Lando. Maybe I got to look at the chat to, uh, all right. Tranche two is trading at five thirty. That one's getting ready to re be reduced as well. <laughs> Wait. Tranche two. Tranche two trading at three sixty. I need three twenty five. That was the closest to two bucks right when I entered tomorrow. Trying 
Bunch of two trading at 355. <laughs> Lando, I beg your pardon. So my grandpa used to say to me, pardon? At 350, 345. I'm looking for 325 on tranche two. It's not 330. Three thirty. Three thirty. No, three twenty five yet. There's three twenty five. All right, reduce my stop on tranche two. All right, anywhere between 4105 and 4115 works for me. I bet my little Rick runner doesn't like this bounce. I don't really care about my little Rick runner, though. I guess I'll just, I'm going to kill my little Rick runner. We end up flushing lower. I'm going to regret it, but that's right. She gone. Dark Avenger against the rules. How dare you? Gut feel has no place for power hour. Mauro, do you already get out of your Nov 3 butterfly? What'd you end up getting on that? Mine's up. Well... So let's see, the expected move between now and Monday is 44. So let's see, 40. Saturday, Sunday, Monday. I'm going to let this baby ride. I'm going to let my time fly ride till Monday. Tranche one and two are trading down to 280. 
tranche three is at 480. Tomorrow you got stopped on tranche three. I know you went wider, but Meech, I saw that you build on your golden fly. I'm going to have to do the same. I was, had high hopes for that one, but I just can't, just can't risk that to Monday. Had high hopes for that one, just didn't pan out. <laughs> yeah, I know you were. I saw your different uh saw your different uh adjustment ideas. Sometimes you just gotta say enough is enough. Still got a shot to book some nice profits on the second half of that sh October 31 shark. Ooh, nice, Meech. All right, she gum. SPX coming back down. And nasty little red bars. Hold yourself up. I like the uh I like the little down move. Not not too much though.
right, I need to do a six, seven here in a bit. Or three, five, I mean, I already did my six, seven. Let's do a three, five. Wednesday is a big day next week. We got ADP non-farm, jolts, and FOMC all on the same day. Which means on that three five, there's going to be lots of contango. SPX still coming down. All right, just posted my three five. Yeah, I use Forex Factory calendar, forexfactory.com slash calendar for just kind of upcoming news events. If you want what's going on right now, you can use financialjuice.com. I don't, there's a paid version. I just do it. I just do the free version. It's like 30 seconds delayed. All right, we cracked a new low of day. We said we didn't need that. Now we need a bounce. Nineteen minutes to go. There's a little bounce. Tranche one and two trading at 275. Tranche three is at 335. Stops have been reduced on both tranche one and two.
Yep, we can just drift, drift into the close from here. That would be, that's all we need. Even with hitting new lows, volatility has actually contracted a little bit. I guess it popped back up. First two early indications for market on close and balance was 635 million sell side. Murph dog, check your check your trade history. Should be able to tell what it was. Trunch throughs uh trunch. Oops. Trunch two is trading at three thirty, three forty five, stops at five twenty five. That's the closest one. That would be the one that would get stopped out first if we were to head lower. You do the same number of contracts for each one. That's that's one of the reasons that I do different. Contracts for tranche one, two, and three. It just helps me with uh, easily tracking which is which. All right, there you go. Get back up there a little bit. Yeah, on the three five, I do a twenty delta put, fifteen delta call on the three fives. Yeah, I keep the risk base, you know, pretty close to the same dark vendor. But I I vary the number of contracts so that I I don't have the exact same number of contracts cuz I would confuse myself.
12 minutes to go. You got a nice wide 10 point range to play around in, Mr. SPX. 10 points in 12 minutes. Just stay within it. Tranche three, I've got the 4115s and 4105s. All right, 10 minutes to go. Tranche one and two trading at a buck 40. Tranche three trading at two bucks. Third market on close, oh, final 325 million sell side. So not much of a change there. That's good. Uh, are you talking about this right here, discount? So how do you make only working order show up? Um, but these are my working orders. It's this drop down that says working orders. And below that are my filled. SPX getting a little bouncy. A little bouncy. Yeah, I actually just found this. Um, I had seen it before, but I just started using it about a month or so ago. I was always using my filled orders only, but uh, or I was using the account statement tab instead of the activity and positions. So yeah, it's kind of handy, especially for this. All right, SPX, you found your spot. 4110, that's where you need to stay, buddy.
don't think I've taken all three to the bell like like my boy Elliot does. I'm going to do it today. Today could be the day. And a little whippy here the last 20 minutes. All right, five minutes to go. This is where the rubber meets the road. Up to 41.15. Need to stay below 15. Better break out the heart rate monitor on this one. Make sure my heart's doing okay. Nice, Bianca, out at 50 cents. Ooh, it's at 110. <laughs> feeling it. I'm feeling it. Sometimes you got to just do this to feel alive, you know? One nineteen. That's... That's a higher reading for me. All right, back down to 107, back down to 94. Nice, Lando. Back down to 13. I like it. I like it. I like it. I've got my orders at 10 cents. So it could take me out. If it's right in the middle, it will usually take my 10 cent order. If it's hovering near a strike, usually won't. Oh, all right, back to 104. Andrew K., you're riding with me? Naked, trading naked's got some sweaty palms. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. All right, creeping back up towards 15. A little over two minutes to go. Nick, cool 79. <laughs> yeah, I'm usually in the 90s for sure. I'm, at, I'm still at 107. 116. I'm a little anxious, anxious today for some reason. I, I just drank water at lunch. No cafe. I, I had coffee this morning, but oh, something hit 10 cents. 
tranche one and so I'm at a tranche one and two at 10 cents. Tranche three has got the 15. I needed to stay under 15. It's currently at 14, a little under 15, less than a minute to go. Stay, boy. Stay. Sit, Ubu. Oh, creeping above 15. Up to 16. Up to 17. Where are you going? Get back down there. 18. There's the bell. A little markdown on the close. Back down to 17. So ended up with about 3,200 in profit on tranche three. That little move in the last two minutes cheated me out of my best power hour ever. Still good, though. Still did uh, a little over 20K. I'll take it. All right, good stuff, my friends. Way to end the week. By the way, I just cracked 100K for my month of October for Power Hour. I know Elliot passed that like a week ago, but <laughs> awesome. Good stuff, good stuff. Elliot, over 27K today. That's awesome. Give you a fire emoji on that one. Good stuff. Good stuff. All right. So uh, live stream next week. What do we got here? Monday the 30th. So we will be streaming live in the AM on Monday at the market open. And then uh, for power hour as well. Tuesday and Wednesday, Chad will be streaming at the open. Tuesday will be streaming for power hour. Wednesday, there will be no uh, chat will be streaming in the morning. We will not be streaming for power hour on Wednesday, but we will be doing an FOMC live stream starting at 1245 central to do some FOMC trades. Thursday, zero DTE live stream and power hour. And then Friday, we'll do power hour and then chat will be in the morning. All right, everybody. Have a fantastic weekend, and we will chat with you soon.